Dan, pretty new model to Geo Kingsbury, this C400 Hermley yeah. performance line machine. Yeah. Uh, a lot of engineers will know Hermley as a top quality machine tool. Yeah. Uh, it may, in, 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 in history, been out of their reach or thought it was out of their reach. This new performance line range has now become uh, less money, isn't it? Why is that? Well, they streamlined the specification of the, the performance line machine, so there's less options. Um, and they're building more. And they're building more, yeah, and selling more. So, and the fact that they are, they are doing that, due to economy of scale, um, we can make significant um, savings on the on the price of the machine. So. Okay, so I, I come here today and I'm thinking about placing an yeah. order for one of these, but I'm thinking, hang on, this is less money than I thought a Hermely would be. What, yeah. What's the catch? Is it built differently? There is no catch, no. Um, these machines, uh, they're not built in the Far East, they're not built in Eastern Europe, they're, ma they're made in exactly the same factory as the high performance line machines. Same components, same engineers um, building it, um, same mineral cast in bed, so yeah. Okay, so lower cost machines, sounding too good to be true. I then, I then pick up in the brochure that you've got a couple of patented features on this, uh, one of which being the way the traveling column moves or the column moves, tell us about that one. So across the range of Hermley machines, they, they stick to the modified gantry design. So um, the Y-axis is supported along the whole um, of the work area. So this, this leads to class leading um, rigidity um, and accuracy. But I have seen other machines that have that same uh, movement on the Y-axis. It's not just that, is it, that's different then? But there's also another two rails at the back, so it, this prevents the machine from crabbing as it moves forward and back in the working area. And is that the same on the on this performance line as well, then? That's the same on, on all on all Hermley machines. Okay, and then t tell me about another one here, because this is an interesting one. This is about your Z-axis. If I have a bang on this yeah. machine, which, which happens, uh, yeah. you've got something in here, a patented feature, which protects the machine or the spindle. Yes, so... Um, Anything up to an 18,000 spindle of a HSK 63, we have a, uh, a two-piece spindle. So basically in between these two-piece spindle, we have a, a series of aluminium bushes. So in case of a ZX collision, um, these bushes will be compressed and it will trigger an e-stop before any damage is done. And how, how frequently does that come into play, do you think? Do you, you, must hear, you must be sitting in the office and hear serving it, service engineers talking on the phone and thinking, wow, glad we had that on the machine. Well, Unfortunately, it does happen. Um, we've all been there. Um, but Some more than others. Yeah, yeah. But the, the fact that you know it's such an easy fix. Um, our service engineers have these aluminium bushes in the back of the car, ready to go. Um, so and rather than replacing a spindle or a, a whole reconfigure yeah. of the machine. Now, what about the C400 model that we have here behind us? These yeah. are available in stock. Tell our tell our audience what size the machines are. And I know the options, there aren't as many options on this as the high performance yeah. line, but for this value for money machine tool, tell us what it comes standard with and the size of it. So the working area is 850 in the X, 700 in the Y, and 550 in the Z. And what you can actually have on the, on the 400 and the 250 is something called a product, productivity package. So by grouping a lot of these commonly um, selected options, you can make a significant um, price decrease. Um, what would some of those options be in that productivity package? Through spindle coolant, chip conveyor maybe? Yeah, so 40 bar through coolant, spin, through spindle coolant. You've got the standard ZM50 additional magazine for the tools. You've got the 18,000 spindle, thermal compensation, swarf gun. Um, yeah, so by grouping them together, we can make a, up to a 10,000 euro saving. Wow, okay, and then the control on the performance line here. This machine behind us has a Hayden. Uh, is, is that is that is that the standard? Is that what it comes with? Yeah, so on the performance line machines, you can only get it with Hayden control. Again, less, less control to configure, makes it more streamlined process. And if you don't go for that productivity package, how many tools does this machine have as standard as it sits there? As a standard on a C400, you get 38 tools in the pickup magazine. And there is also one other point I wanted to touch on, the A-axis and the C-axis on this machine. A lot of manufacturers make a big play for how stable their machines are constructed in this area. Uh, how, what would your comments be about how this machine is built and configured? Um, this machine has a, a single drive on the A-axis and supported on the other side. And is it a fast machine? Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. 
And when, when we say that, are we talking about a machine that's sort of moving around at, I don't know, 40 metres a minute, 30 yeah. metres a minute? Yeah, on the linear axis, all the linear axis are around 40 metres a minute. Um, and the way we talked about how it's built and they're all built the same as the high performance line, does yeah. that mean this is like a one piece casting or a two piece casting? How's that configured? Yeah, and what's it made of? It's a one piece casting made of uh, an epoxy resin. Um, so it's an epoxy with uh, granite inside. And when you go out in the field and see these machines, are they lasting years, decades? How long? It's, it's not uncommon to see machines up to 20 years old still producing aerospace parts. Thank you